Toki, hello. Today we're covering numbers and some of the more new words in Toki Pona. First off, try not to use numbers. Use mute instead, it saves a lot of work. Okay, as you can see, there's one and two. And that's literally it. To make higher numbers, stack those like you stack mute for tons and tons. Or colours to make other colours. Here's an example. Palisa two 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 one is seven sticks. Not so easy now, eh? Well, that's one reason why we have mute, people. Lose the numbers you've carried around for ages in your life. Just stick with mute. Okay, now on to five. Yesterday we learned Luca is hand or arm. Sometimes people use it to mean five, but this is highly unrecommended. Here's an example. Palisa Luca two, seven sticks. Or two fingers. See what I'm getting at? It can be ambiguous and completely unnecessary when we just have mute. Okay, that's cardinal numbers all set out, but what about ordinal numbers? The first stick, the second stick, etc. Well, we say palisa pidanpa one or palisa pidanpa two. Stick number one, stick of number two, etc. Okay, what about those other meanings under the numbers? They're just ordinary verbs. For instance, me and me and me, li one. My boyfriend and I united. In this case, the unity is likely marriage. Yang and me and ona, li two. Someone and their boyfriend divided. Or, in an English sense, split up. That's enough for numbers. What about the new words? Not all these words seem necessary, and yeah, debates have arisen. But we're going to have to wait for the Toki Pona book to come out before knowing what is 100% here to stay and what is getting chucked. All the new words are the ones with an asterisk next to them. Last topic for today, Weka. It can be used in numerous ways, so I'll rattle off a list. O Weka e yaki. Get rid of or eliminate the trash. Oda li wile tawa Weka. She wants to go away or move distantly. Tomosina ni weka tan tomo ona. Your house is far from her house. Tomo ona ni weka ala tan tomo yan. Her house is not far, or close, to the person's house. As a verb, as an adjective, distant or far and close as well, weka has lots of uses. Learn the vocab and do the homework. Mitawa, bye!